Hello everyone, Kenji here at Life of Clay. Welcome back to my channel and same goes to our new viewers out there. Here we are again for another exciting and thrilling sculpting session. And yes, Camel Spider is our subject for this tutorial. And without further ado, let's take a seat, face the work table, and let's begin. And as usual, we begin with the armature using aluminum foil, forming the basic shape of its abdomen and make it dense as much as possible. I mix Sculpey Original and Super Sculpey Clay. I rolled out a thin sheet and cover the foil. Camel spider belongs to order Sulifugae, class Arachnida. Sun spider, wind scorpions, and Sulifugid is its common nicknames. It's not a spider nor a scorpion, and until now, entomologists are arguing about its identity. But definitely, they are totally belongs to a different taxon. And shaping its abdomen according to the reference and at the same time adding those segments. Now we set aside the abdomen and proceed on sculpting its jaws. And to start the jaw, I bend these aluminum wires in U-shape form. Trim each end to make them pointy and smooth them by sanding. These are called chelicera or pincer like claw or let's call them jaws. Reciprocates back and forth almost like a saw and pulls pieces of its prey out and sucks all the liquid nutrients on them until almost disappear as he's eating it. What a horrible fate for a prey, isn't it? But don't worry, they aren't sharp enough to cut through human skin. Now that I got the final shape of these jaws, I smoothed it out with alcohol and made several puncture holes on them. And you know guys, According to the urban legends, they can jump 6 feet high just to reach the back of a camel and sucks its blood. They are known also for their lethality, speed, and large size, but the biggest having the leg span of 4.7 inches. Camel spiders can hook itself into the furry camel skin like tick and bite the underside of the camel, hence their nickname camel spider. Now I'm adding a little correction on the abdomen and bake them along with the jaws. After baking the abdomen and the jaws, we can now sculpt the head. And for the head, I use again the combination of Sculpt Original and Black Primo. Camel spider's body is consists of two sections, the prosoma or the cephalothorax and the opistosoma or the abdomen. Unlike real spiders, solfugids doesn't produce silk and they are non-venomous. I'm now forming those sockets in front of its head. This is where the jaws will be inserted.
adding more details, those triangular cheeks beside its head. Using these small cut pieces of clay, I add those joints near its body called coxa. I lay a plastic film on top of these joints so they become rounded and smooth as I shape them. I puncture all the coxa as a guide for drilling later. And for its eyes, I embed these pre-baked small polymer balls. Camel spiders are nocturnal. They can only see in the dark, so their schedule for hunting is at night. And for the legs, I wrap the aluminum wires with a thin sheet of clay, trim all the excess and shape them. I make sure all the proportions are equal by comparing them to the rest of the limbs. I use the combination of white and black primo for these legs. As you can see, camel spiders have 10 legs. The two long front legs are actually his pedipalps that is covered with sensory hairs, meaning it has only 8 legs in total. Did you know that camel spiders can run up to 10 miles per hour, more than twice the average human walking speed? That is why in Africa they are sometimes called Kalahari Ferrari. And after smoothing them out with alcohol, I puncture those two pedipalps using a needle. And as I've done all the legs and baked them, we're ready for assembly. I did this malleolus or this fun shaped chemoreceptor also called racate organ out of plastic bristles. These malleolus are counterpart of scorpion's pectins and they receive and transmit vibration signals through chemical substance. I melt the tip of the bristles lightly using lighter and while it is still soft, I pinch it with pliers then cut on proper sizes that I already attach as you can see on the inserted video on your left using epoxy. And now for the painting process of its general body color, I use folk art acrylic paints of titanium white, yellow ochre, and real brown of apple barrel brand. So 
I did two coatings until the clay underneath is no longer visible. Then I brush a retarding medium on its abdomen to prolong my working time while adding these markings on its abdomen called tergites or the hard plates on the top of its body using burnt sienna and yellow ochre mix. And I painted the tips of its jaw with a bit of darker combination using raw amber, black, and burnt sienna. And to accentuate the details, I brush it over with yellow ochre and burnt sienna wash. Now for the underside of its abdomen, I use raw amber, burnt sienna, black, and a little bit of white. And now here we are guys, which most of you asking me how I did its hairs. So here it is, secret no more. Using an old nylon painting brush, I just trimmed the bristles in different lengths. Using a water-based glue, I dipped the end of each hair and inserted them on those punctured holes I made in advance. Yes guys, as easy as that. It's extremely time-consuming and ice-blurring job but it's worth all the effort. I puncture more holes on its chelicera to give room for more hairs. And I just gave her a little haircut. I brushed the femur part of its legs with polyurethane varnish and sprinkled them with shorter bristle hairs to imitate those tiny hairs on them. I forgot to add those soft joint connections on its legs so now I painted them with more lighter version of that color mix I use for its body. As I return to check the reference photo, the abdomen is a bit grayish to darker gray in color indication of its entrails. So for this, I painted it with warm gray using raw amber, yellow ochre, and burnt sienna with a little touch of black and titanium white. And again, sealing it with varnish.
and the common spider is finally done hope you enjoy watching this tutorial guys and please don't forget to like and subscribe in this channel of mine and of course for you to be notified for the new video updates just click the notification bell below this video again thank you guys and keep safe always